Mount Pleasant is a fresh look at um, no the north, really, Manchester and, and the north. But against the stereotype that we're used to of the of the unemployment and the, and the kind of degradation of people feeling really down, and uh, this is about successful people. It's uh, good jobs, good careers, um, quite a bit of money, but with the same problems, the same problems that everyone else has in their other shows. Um, I would describe it as it's like Roseanne meets Cold Feet. I think that's in, in a, I would say, and if you like either of those shows, I would watch it. And it's also if you like a laugh because it's really funny. It's very sunny and shiny. We were just saying it's a bit sort of America glossy, you know. It's a really nice, shiny, happy show to watch, even though there's all those little problems that everyone's got. It's about a real marriage, and it's about all those complications that come into real marriage, which is just day-to-day -day life, and people who have keys to your front door who you rather didn't have a key to your like front door. Parents. Like my parents. who are always barging into the house, when et cetera, they're trying to do et cetera, nice and friends and who are being very demanding and, yeah. uh, and all of that. And within that, a couple trying to get, you know, make their way through. Through life, really. I play Greg, who uh, is married to Angela Griffin's character, Shelley. I'm, I'm Dan's best friend. Um, and I, uh, she's a very high-flying wife. I'm not so high-flying. I uh, <laughs> sort of hovers about three sort of, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> scooting along the sort of just above the surface of the ground, uh, and uh, yeah, I uh, and I sort of get myself in a few little uh, sticky situations. Um, my character's um, a sort of plastic poppy, really, and um, uh, not loved at home anymore by her gorgeous husband, who she loves, and so it manifests itself in this glorious sort of sex creature who makes suggestive comments to everyone to try and get some sort of response and so when she speaks to all these people in the close and where she lives they they laugh at her and they like her and she, that makes her even more effervescent and um, ridiculous and a bit naughty and sexy but she wouldn't stray she's a sweet girl really from the little clips I've seen of the show it looks like the, their life in the bedroom is a source of the, a lot of the humour. Is that right? Or their failure to... <laughs> I don't think it's about... I think because they're ten years into the marriage, I don't think bouncing around the bedroom is the most important thing in the world, even though they do like a good old, you know, night in the, the bedroom, as it were. They do like that because they fancy each other, and that's lovely after ten years, and they really do fancy each other, and they really do love each other. The thing is, sometimes they like to have a little bit of a drink and don't quite get to the point where... Yeah. Yeah. You know, their love is consummated. It's very hit and miss. So it's a bit hit and miss. But yeah. that's what happens when you're married. It's, it's about that stage in your lives when you, you know, you look yourself in the mirror and go, oh, God, you know, it's all going south. And So there is that kind of thing with certain couples. Uh, my character's problems are, I guess you would look at him and say he's probably having a midlife crisis. Yeah. Uh, but instead of buying Harley Davidson wearing bright yellow shirts, he's manifesting himself by just sort of... Screwing a poor, defenceless young girl. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, and I think AIDS as well. You're, you, you, I suppose your character is, is kind of at that crossroads as well. Yeah? I think they all are in a way. And I, I think everyone's, you know, it's, it, is, it is glamorous as a show, but uh, we're English. You know, and English people sort of... Don't try know. to be happy for too long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you, have you, this is a, part of a show, it's part of Sky's sort of new investment in comedy. Have you guys had experience of sort of finding it tough to get comedies off the ground in this country in the past? I have, yeah. And I've, I've right written some successful ones. Um, yeah, it is difficult. It is very difficult because, you know, because a lot, a lot of people follow the same roots in comedy, so it's very hard to, to stand out. And um, mm. But I think the backing that Sky is given the new programmes is... Uh, uh, you've got to take your hat off to it. I mean, it's, we feel like we've, we're part of something that's really being looked after and, really, and they're really proud of it. And, uh, and that comes back to us and we give that back. It's, 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 a, it's a mutual respect thing that's, uh, that's long overdue and I hope it goes on and on because there's a lot of quality out there and, and I think Sky picked a lot of it up.